Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, your Death01 here, back with another guide. This is just going to be a quick one. This is the uh, easiest way that I've found to get Frostwalker uh, and get the achievement for walking over a large body of water with the Frostwalker Boots enchantment. Um, now, the only way to get this uh, enchantment, Frostwalker, is it is loot exclusive, so you can only get it from either trading from a villager, which is a very rare, uh, looting from fishing, which is extremely rare, or if you get lucky in a uh, in a library in one of the dungeons, which is also very rare. Uh, I think the the chance to get it is maybe like one percent or something like that. So, like, I spent a lot of time trying to fish for it. It did not work, and same with trading. Because uh, there needs to be a librarian if you're doing it through trading in a village. And it takes a lot of resources anyways. Um, so realistically, the easiest way to do it that I found was to just sit there and keep randomly generating worlds. Find the dungeon, go to the um, go to the library in the dungeon, and then see if there's the enchantment. And this is the only world that I found after like 40, 50 attempts. Um, and so this is the one I'm going to show you guys because it really isn't too far from Swan as you can see. Uh, so just looking at the map here now, uh, you, this is where you spawn right down there. Uh, you spawn right there and the, basically in the middle of the map always. And then all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go north, west, like always. <laughs> and uh, you want to go straight up until you get to this place. And now the coordinates for this place that you want to be at is negative 599. Your X is negative 599. Uh, your Y should be 72, and then your Z should be negative 769. And once you reach this exact location, you want to dig straight down. That is what you want to do. Um, so just looking at the map here, as you can see, we spawned right there. You're going to want to go all the way top left, keep going diagonally up until you get to right around this pond over here and stuff. You'll see there's that pond there. And uh, once you come to this coordinate right over here, so negative 599... And then negative 769, which is this hole right here. Um, you want to dig straight down. So once you come to this block, dig straight down. Uh, as you can see, I'm in creative. So, you know, obviously I'm going to fly down. Um, well, I have host privileges on, I should say. So you're going to come straight down. You're going to drop a couple blocks when you break through the top block. You'll know you're here because you'll see this sort of stone brick. And then what you want to do is you want to just come down. So you can either come over to the side here or jump down there. Just go down the ladder if you wish. And make your way through these cobwebs, these annoying cobwebs. And on this chest, right here on this bookcase. So, literally, it's directly below where you dug down from. So, even if you want to, just dig through this block here. Drop down one. And then right in front of you is this chest. And right there in the chest is the Frostwalker Enchanted Book. So, you're going to want to take that. Now, the next step is you need to get enough iron to make an anvil. Uh, which I believe is uh, three blocks and four ingots. Let's check in the uh, crafting menu here. Let's just get a uh, let's get a workbench real quick, a crafting table, and we're going to go check the anvil. So it's three iron blocks and four iron ingots. Uh, so that's thirty-one iron ingots in total that you need. And uh, if you guys don't know about the duplication glitch that I posted a while ago, uh, it makes it really easy to, obviously, it's duplication glitch to get resources. All you need is two uh, blocks, as long as it's a two-state item, and you can duplicate it, uh, you know, as much as you want. You can get, like, you can get a full stack of 64 blocks in maybe the first 25, 30 minutes of playing. So it's really fast. Um, if you do it correctly, you can get, you know, like, 10 or 12 blocks a minute so it's it's really good um, but go check out the video if you haven't seen it yet it gives you full details on how to do it um, so now what you need to do is you need to get an anvil so we're just gonna we're not gonna build one we're just gonna give ourselves one uh, here it is right here anvil and then you need a pair of boots any kind of boots does not matter you can do it on leather chain iron gold or diamond uh, I think what I did it on was iron because that's what I had a lot of, but it really doesn't matter. So just take whatever boots you have um, and you will get the Frostwalker enchantment. And this one also comes with sharpness. Sharpness on boots is really good. <laughs> I'm joking. 
Uh, so you want to enchant those. As you can see, it costs eight, so you need eight experience points, which means you need to mine enough stuff or kill enough mobs uh, to get that experience points. And then once you have uh, equipped or enchanted those boots, you want to equip them. Um, and then you want to go, to go to any large body of water. It has to be a really large body of water. And then uh, just straight up walk over it. There's also a woodland mansion right there, as you can see behind me. So if you guys haven't checked out my other video on how to get kill an evoker and get the totem of undying, uh, this is also a really good uh, map to do it on because you can get Frostwalker and the uh, Woodland Mansion killing the Evoker and Totem of Undying right there. Um, so if you guys also wanted to hit that up, just go over there and you can do that as well. Um, so yeah, all you got to do is find a really large body of water, which I don't remember where the body of water is actually now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so we're just going to quickly fly, fly around until we find one. Uh, so you guys can see exactly what it does. Well, you know what? No, we're not even going to do that. Because um, I've already gotten the achievement. But all you got to do is go to... You got to go over a really large body of water. Like, straight up. I mean, it, it has to be huge. Like, if you watch my last video on Minecraft achievements on how to uh, do the Ocean Monument. Here we go. This should be good enough. And there is also an Ocean Monument right here too, as you can see. So, this is a really good world. <laughs> Um, let's bring out the map so we can see exactly where we are. Alright, so we're on this part of the map. Okay, so you want to go to a large body of water, and if the if you find go to this ocean monument, this is also will work, because ocean monuments only spawn in really large bodies of water. And, uh, as you can see, because you have the boots on, anytime you walk near water, um, it starts to create ice under your feet, so you will not sink, you will just straight up run. Uh, if you do go fast enough, though, you will skip over it, so don't go too fast, as you can see, like that, and then, you know... You won't, uh, you won't keep going. You gotta walk. Um, you can't run or jump. So just keep walking. And uh, after you've walked out far enough, it has to be a certain depth. You will uh, get the achievement. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, oh yeah, if you don't know how to how to get the achievement for an evoker, um, basically you just have to, or I mean for the um, for the um, defeat an elder guardian, just come over to an ocean monument like this. Let me take these boots off because they're gonna mess me up. Uh, and the easiest way to do it is to just go to the top of the monument, mine down one block, and there will be a um, Elder Guardian right here. Um, I'm on creative mode, so obviously he's not spawned, um, but this is where the Elder Guardian will spawn. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Uh, please check out my friends' channels. The links will always be in the description below. Again, I will leave the seed and the coordinates in the description as well as I, you know, put it up in the beginning of the video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Again, keep it real, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.